Hey everybody, this is example number 8 for structural dynamics covering the response to harmonic excitation. The problem statement that we have is the rotating machine shown in the figure below weighs 150 pounds and is mounted on a structure that has a stiffness K equal to 1000 pounds per inch and damping factor equal to 0 0.1. Its operating speed is 500 revolutions per minute and the machine experiences a rotating imbalance of 10 pounds inch and we're asked to find the amplitude of steady state vibration, the transmissibility, and the maximum dynamic force transmitted to the base. So here's our rotating machine. It has an operating frequency of 500 revolutions per minute. It has a total uh, mass, or instead of mass, we can think also in terms of weight of 150 pounds. The stiffness is equal to 1,000 pounds per inch and it has some type of rotating imbalance, mass imbalance, but the problem statement gave us gave us this term in, gave us this term in terms of the weight imbalance. So W So here we have the mass times eccentricity, but the problem statement gave us a value that's equal to the weight uh, small w, the weight of this mass times the eccentricity equals to 10 pounds inch. And so we need to find the steady state amplitude, uh, steady state vibration amplitude, the transmissibility, and the maximum dynamic force transmitted to the base. Before we proceed with the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley's software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. So here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And back to our dynamics problem. The first thing we're going to do is convert the operating frequency from revolutions per minute to radians per second. And so we just take the 500 revolutions per minute, multiply it by 2 pi, and divide by 60 to get it into radians per second. So our uh, operating frequency is 52.36 radians per second. Next, we need to calculate the frequency of our system, the circular natural frequency of the rotating machine system. So in order to do that, we need to calculate the mass, which is equal to the total weight divided by gravitational acceleration. And so the mass is equal to 0.388 pounds second squared per inch. Once we have the mass, we can calculate the circular natural frequency, and that's equal to the square root of the stiffness divided by the mass. And so that comes out to be 50.77 radians per second. After this, we're going to calculate a value called the frequency ratio R and that's equal to the operating frequency divided by the circular natural frequency of the system and so R in our case equals 1.03 and now we're going to calculate the steady state vibration amplitude so we have a case where we have some type of rotating mass imbalance so the steady state vibration amplitude uh, will be calculated according to this formula it's equal to the small m which is the rotating mass times E, which is the eccentricity, times frequency ratio squared, divided by the total mass, all divided by the square root of 1 minus R squared squared, plus 2 times, 2 times zeta, which is the damping factor, times R squared. And so one thing to note here is that instead of in the numerator, we have small m and big M, uh, but in our case, uh, but you can also get the same answer if we use a weight, small weight and big weight. You'll get the same answer. 
So because the problem statement gave every it gave us the information in terms of pounds, we'll we'll just use weight terms instead of mass terms. So we don't have to convert the weight to mass and then plug in the numbers. We can just use the weight uh, directly, and we'll get the same answer. And so here's here's the steady state vibration amplitude. We just plug in the numbers. This ten this ten is a ten pounds inch, and that's equal to the small weight the rotating mass, the weight of the rotating mass times E, and then we have R squared divided by the total weight, 150. And so after plugging in all the numbers, we find that the steady state vibration amplitude is equal to 0.329 inches. Next, we're going to calculate the transmissibility ratio, and that's equal to the square root of 1 plus 2 times zeta R squared all divided by the square root of 1 minus r squared squared plus 2 times zeta r squared. And so we know all these values and we just plug in the numbers and we find that the transmissibility ratio is equal to 4.75. And lastly we're going to calculate the maximum dynamic force that, that's transmitted to the base and that's that's equal to the transmissibility transmissibility ratio times the amplitude of the harmonic excitation and so we don't know the amplitude of the harmonic excitation uh, what the thing is we have to convert this amplitude of harmonic excitation in our case we have some type of rotating mass imbalance so we have to get the amplitude of harmonic excitation in terms of we have to get it in a way, express it in terms that we already know. So, first thing we're going to do is say that it's equal to, the, uh, so we say that the, trans, the force transmitted to the base is equal to transmissibility ratio times the equivalent static deflection times the stiffness. And so this here, this product, the equivalent static deflection, XO times K, this is equal to the harmonic amplitude of harmonic excitation and so we simplify this even further and we say that the uh, so we still have the transmissibility ratio here and we still have the stiffness here and so the equivalent static deflection we get it in we get it we express it in terms of variables that we already know and so here it is this is the equivalent static deflection it's equal to the rotating mass times the eccentricity times the operating frequency ratio op op operating frequency rate operating frequency squared divided by the stiffness so we can see that the k here and here the stiffness the stiffness terms will cancel out and so we're left with the force transmitted to the base the dynamic force is equal to the transmissibility ratio times the rotating mass times eccentricity times operating frequency squared and we'll just convert the mass uh, we'll just express the mass in terms of the weight divided by gravitational acceleration and so here this is the mass mass equals uh, the weight divided by gravitational acceleration and then we still have our eccentricity term and then uh, operating frequency squared and then also the transmissibility ratio. So now we just plug in the numbers. And so the transmissibility ratio is equal to 4.75. And G is equal to 386.4 inches per second squared. This is G. And here the 10 that the problem statement gave us is equal to the weight of the rotating mass. We call it small w times E, the eccentricity, and then all multiplied by the operating frequency, 52.36 radians per second squared. And so we find that the maximum dynamic force transmitted to the base is equal to 337.02 pounds. And this is the end of this example. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash engineering examples. And also please check out our website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.